Let's start over. One. Hallelujah. Two. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Three. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Oh, you can do better than that. Let the angels stand at attention when you shout.
ministers, evangelists, deacons, missionaries, whatever your office or title might be in the body of Christ, I greet you in the name of the Lord Jesus. Amen. Amen. I want to honor today Thank you. the wife of Apostle Kenneth Livingston or affectionately called Kenny. We want to honor you today. Thank you. We want to honor the oldest sister of the apostle today. Amen. The lady sitting right here in the red thing around her head. Amen. Amen. Her name is Lucille Johnson. Amen. And that's the one who mothered and took care of all her siblings Amen. when their parents died. She brought all of them up. And she's still here today going strong. Amen. I want to honor her. She is my sister for life. She is my friend for life. I will not change her for anybody in this world. She is there to my heart as she was there to her brother's heart. And anything he would say, you know what I'm going to call sin? Still know how to take care of this. Yeah, that's what he called her. And I want to honor her today. I want to honor the sisters and brothers. Belinda. I see Belinda. I see Joyce. I see Mary. 
I see his big brother over there. I want to honor all of his siblings. All of, oh yes, there he is. Hello there. I want to honor all of his siblings, all of his nieces and nephews. Amen. I want to honor today all the cousins that are here today in the house of the Lord. I honor you today and I want to say to you that he's not in there. That's just the shell that he lived in. But today he's resting in the presence of the Lord. And I want to say something and you might contradict me, but I really don't care if you contradict me. And I want to say today, if I don't believe anybody has made it in, I believe he did. If I don't believe anybody else that I knew made it in, that man made it in. And I want to thank God for him. I know, yes, I know, I am aware, I am very aware, I'm cognizant of the people that might be in here today who come to see what was going on. And I, I know that we have some skeptics in the house. But go tell them I say, Alice Miller, do not care. You can skepticize all you want. And you can judge all you want. I don't care. That was my brother. That was my friend. And we were friends for life. And I don't care what anybody think about him. Yes, I know there are stories out there. That's your problem. Come on, that's right. That's not my problem. Whatever stories you know, or whatever expression you want to cast, cast it. But I really don't care. That's me. I know that he made it in. If nobody else did, this man. Come on. That I'm talking about. I want to comfort you. Don't listen to the naysayers. You got a lack of them all over the place. Hello. Everybody got a butt. Come on. Hello, but you better sit on yours. That's right. That's right. Come on. Come on. Because I really don't care. That's right. Oh, yeah, I might make you mad today. Get mad. I don't care. You're going to get mad after a while. But I loved him. He was my brother. We were not born of the same mother, but he was my brother. And I loved him till death. And I will always love him in my heart. You hear what I say, Sue? Yes, yes. Holy Ghost. Jesus. So you come to see? See. And I hope you see enough. All right, brother. And I hope you leave with a blessing too. I hope God bless you before you leave here today. That's right. Jesus. All right. I want to thank God for the life of this man. And those of you who were affiliated with him know that he loved you for real. Yes. He did not play, or play around with that love. That's right. And every time you see him, he's the same way. Wherever you saw him, he was the same way. And whatever they said about him did not change him. That's right. There is nobody that is perfect. That's right. Come on now. Come on. We all have our skeletons in our closet. That's right. Everybody have a skeleton in their closet. Yes. Everybody did some stuff you don't want nobody to know about. Everybody, if people was to know what you did, they wouldn't even look at your look your way. They'd go the other side of the road. Jesus, all of us. So I just want just want to put that out there. I bring greeting from my husband. He's traveling. That's why he's not here. He loved the ground that Apostle Hor walked on. He loved that man. And I bring greetings from him today. And he was so sorry that he had a previous engagement and he could not make it here today. He said, honey, are you going to be all right? Because I know that was your brother. I said, I'm going to be good. All right, all I'm right. fine. All right. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> I don't need to cry. That's right. Because I showed him 
that I cared about him when he was alive. And anything he asked me to do that was in my power, I did that. And if he said I need you to come over here today and if I had other plans, I put away my plans and I go right over there and I did whatever he wanted me to do in this church or wherever he was. So I don't have to cry today. I did my due diligence while he was alive. Those of you who didn't do nothing and you were too crazy and, and, and withdraw yourself because you hear some people talking some stuff that you had no proof of shame on you. You can cry today, but I ain't crying today. That's right. Say, well, you know what I'm talking about, <laughs> Apostle Anderson. Yes. We go back a long way. Yes. When he was a little something beating the drums. A little something. <laughs> Hallelujah. If you have your Bibles, and I'm going to be quick and out of your way in a minute. If you have your Bibles, or if you don't have your Bibles, I am in the book of Isaiah chapter 40. Okay. I'm going to read a few verses, and I'll be out of your way. Isaiah was a man, man that God called. Yeah. Yes. Please bow your head with me, eternal God. We thank you today for this opportunity and privilege to be able to stand, O oh God, and to lift up your name, to be... Uh, uh, one that would bring a word today to your people. These are your people, you know what they have need of. And we thank you today, Lord God, that you have enabled us to be here to celebrate your servant today. Lord, we thank you today, God, for his life, and we thank you that we have the opportunity to gather again. Lord, we pray that you would come and have your way in this house today. We cancel a reassignment of the enemy in the name of Jesus. We ban up distraction of every entrance today in the name of Jesus Christ. Lord God, and release your favor, your anointing, your Shekinah glory in this place. Help me to decrease that you might increase today. All the glory, the honor, and the praise belong to you and is due unto you because you are an awesome God. And we thank you in Jesus' name. Book of Isaiah chapter 40. I'll be reading just a few verses in your hearing. Hast thou not known, hast thou not heard that the everlasting God, the Lord, the creator of the ends of the earth, fainteth not, neither is weary. There is no searching of his understanding. He giveth power to the faint, and to them that have no might, he increaseth strength. Even the youths shall faint and be weary, and the young men shall utterly fall. But they that wait upon the Lord, shall renew their strength. They shall mount up with wings as eagles. They shall run and not be weary. And they shall walk and not faint. Here, the prophet Isaiah was called the eagle-eyed prophet. The prophet that Isaiah was called at a young age of about 15 years old. He was a young man. But God had a need of him. And so the Bible said in the year that King Uzziah died, Uzziah was his, was, was his relative. And so Uzziah was imprisoned in the dungeon. And that's where he died. And in the year that King Uzziah died, he said, I saw the Lord. I am lifted up. And his strength filled the temple. You have to understand something. That if you come to know Jesus Christ as Lord and Savior of your life and you live a life for a, for a season but when you come in contact with Jesus when you experience his glory you can never be the same after Isaiah experienced the glory of God he was never the same he knew he said I am a man of unclean lips and I dwell among a people of unclean lips. And so, because he confessed what he was. See, God can't use you until you confess what you are. Hello. Those of us who are walking around here with all these titles and these big names. And you're still in your mess from you as a sinner. You have not changed your ways. You have not turned away from your sin. God can't use you. But when you turn away from your sin and decide I'm going to confess to God that I have sinned and come short of your glory, that's the only time that God can use you. Shake your neighbor. Say, neighbor, that is the truth. 
So when he met the Lord, his whole demeanor, perception, he changed from what he was. And God said, I need a man that will go. Who will go for me? The Bible said the seraphim took a cold and put it on his lips and said, now are you clean? Until you've been purged. Until you lay aside. God can't use you. You didn't say that. He's a price you have to pay for God to use you. Yes, you don't just get saved and go do your own thing. But you gotta pay a price. Yes, there's a price. You gotta go through the storm on the rain. Hey, some of us think that because we say I'm saved and you get the Holy Ghost, you're ready to go. But I come to tell you not so. Not so. Is a price you have to pay, Mother Catherine. Are you willing to pay the price for God to use you? Are you willing to say, Lord, I turn away from my sin. Lord, I will give up everything just so I can serve you and have a relationship with you. Come on. Be All right. Look at the are you willing to say, God, I am willing to sacrifice whatever I need to sacrifice so that you can use me? Or do you want to serve him in your mess? Jesus. My God, my God. We pass judgment on other people, but look in the mirror at yourself. That's right. Come on. You have some faults too. You have some failures too. You have some you need to lay aside too. You need to make it right with God so he can use you and get the glory out of your life. That's right. Jesus. Preaching the day. Yes, Lord. Yes. We have this perception. Because I have a good job. Come on, come on. Yes, yes. And because I let make more money. Than this brother. Uh-huh. I'm the one God wants to use. The devil is a liar. Yes, he is. God take the foolish things of this world to confound the wise. Yes, yes. And your dollars is not gonna get you into heaven. Yes. You can't pay. Come on. So because you make more money, you think you should be the one at the pulpit. Bless her Lord. You need to run the show because you make more money. God is not interested in filthy lucre. God is not interested in your money. God needs a heart that he can use. He needs somebody that he can send. He needs somebody that will live holy. He needs somebody that will be honest. He needs somebody. And I'm almost done. Don't fool yourself. God is not mocked. That's right. Whatsoever man soweth. That shall he also reap. The seeds that you sow, remember that they're coming back to you. The lies you told, somebody else is gonna lie on you. Whatever you stole, somebody's gonna steal from you. Watching a clock up here. Come on. Preach it all. I come to tell you today. Tell it. Jesus. The Lord said, Comfort my people. Yeah, yeah. If you're in right standing, 
I come to comfort you. If you ain't right, I come to tell you repent. Come on now. Jesus. Come on now. Bible 
say. That now they turn against Judah. Who spared their life in the first time. How many of you know. The same people you help. The same people you help. We turn around. I desire your life. The same people you have to help. We turn around. And become your worst enemy. And so he said I don't know what to do. And he began to say listen to me. Let us call upon the name of the Lord. And the Bible said. That as he began to call. Upon the name of the Lord. God spoke to one of the young prophets. And said go tell to us. But the battle is not his. He don't need to fight. But I will fight the battle. And I will cause him. To come out victorious. He don't need to do anything. Tell him stand still. And see the salvation of the Lord. And the Bible said. That as they go out. To fight against the enemy. They didn't have to lift a finger. Because God. By the battle himself. He did the job. On his own. He didn't need no help. Because he is God. I come to tell you. Whatever battle. You might be fighting today. God. Is able. He said I. I'm the Lord. I change not. He said I am. That I am. There is no change. I will not. Change my mind. The Bible says. against God's people God said unto him ah your time is up watch out what you do to God's people because he's got a time somebody say yes get up off me say yes say yes somebody say yes somebody say yes somebody say yes say yes Hallelujah! The Lord! 
to lie down in green pastures. He leadeth me beside the still waters. He restoreth my soul. He's a restorer. David said, The Lord is my light and my salvation. Whom shall I bear? The Lord, the Lord, the Lord, the Lord. Yeah. 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 
available. Amen. We'll give you more information. Daniel, we got the video. But right now we out of here. Yeah. Choir, send us home. Come on.